Hi guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are stash shopping again, trying to create a rustic, rustic type look, brown on orange, just that warmness. And stop shopping the stash, no new items, just items that I've had in my stash that I probably never picked up. So if you wanna see how I got this look, the products I use and all of that, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos. And I'm out of here, bye guys. Okay guys, let's go ahead and prime the face with my two new favorite primers, Blur and Blur. NYX Blur and One Size Secure the Blur Primer. Today we are stash shopping again. And today I use, finally for the first time, this ABH Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I've had it since the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. And y'all see that they're having another one. So it's been like a whole year and I just opened it. And I'm really just kind of like pushing it in, pushing the primer in, especially like in my pore areas, my smile line areas. Y'all notice, and I just thought about this, that I have not used my paint pot in months. If you are OG to my channel, you know I used to use paint pot all the time in my smile lines to help with my smile lines. But I stopped, I want to say probably about four or so months ago. And I just been like doing my primer like this on my smile lines and I don't have that issue no more or and it very well could be that I don't apply as much makeup as I used to when I first started out causing it to crease and cake in this area so yeah okay let that sit uh, I found this MAC soft ochre paint pot in my stash I used to want this forever when I first started, you know, looking at YouTube videos, I used to want this like forever. And I finally got it. It's like a banana shade. Had this, didn't really use it. Probably used it like one time and then went on about my business. <laughs> and here's the brush. I was looking for this brush like all morning. All the girls on YouTube used to always use soft ochre. If you're like an old person that's been watching like YouTube forever, then you know what I'm talking about, beauty content. Yeah, like everybody used to use soft ochre. The paint pot is the original P. Louise base. The original NYX glitter glue base. Like, this is the original to me eyeshadow priming base. Make sure the top is tight. Add it in. Make sure I don't have no lines or creases. Same palette that's been on my desk all week. Morphe Gilded Desert. I 
I'm going to take mulch it and put that all over my lid. stay open that's what I'm gonna do I think it's gonna be a two shadow look today. Today is Wednesday, middle of the week. Just trying to make it. Then I'm going to take the black shade in Sierra Nights for the outer part. It's just a matte fact. Tap it off though because it looks kind of deep. It is. <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to blend it and fix it in just a minute. We got to get it down there first. Now get a fluffier brush and just blend the edges. Blend that into the kind of oranges brown shade. Not to go too far up either. Try not to. That right there. I'm going to take some of my Essence of Black Liner. Y'all see how dark that is? Essence shot me with this. No line, no way, I should say. I got it on my nose. 
Okay, for foundation today, I use a little bit of my MAC Studio Radiance and NC50 and a half a drop of my Yellow Pigment by LA Girl to give it more golden because this pulls red on me and I have to use it up. I always say like when I finish, I'm going to go to the MAC store and hopefully get shade match. I know some of my buddies down here told me what shade they were in this foundation so I'll give that a try because we're shade twins it it looks to be the right color when you first initially apply it but I feel like it oxidizes a little red so that's why I mix my yellow with it To be honest, not a lot of people talk about this foundation the way I think they should. And I really was sitting here thinking, trying to figure out, like, what's the new it foundation these days? Because, you know, every week it's a new foundation that everyone is so in love with. And it's a must-have for everyone. Drop down and let me know oh, what's the new it foundation. Because I have no idea. I use two pumps of this one. Because this one is kind of watery. And it says radiant. But as you can see, it's not like a whole bunch of, bunch of, bunch of shine. Take my damp car beauty sponge. And some of my nude stick, nude eight. If you know, you know, you know. To conceal. Thread Beauty 210. Lately, I just been, you know how I usually go like this, I hair like a crazy person. I just been doing a little bit. A little bit. I'm just taking whatever's left on my brush and grabbing the forehead. in the jaw area. Spray with my NYX Bear With Me Spray. Good, right? 
but I have another concealer that I like to put on top of that. And it's my Sephora um, serum concealer. And Dolce Lache, Dolce Lache. It's a little darker. But for whatever reason, I like when I did this combination. <laughs> the lighter on the bottom and then the darker on the top the other day. And then I'll take some of my Sasha Buttercup to set this once I'm finished blending. And what is it? whatever darkness is on the sponge and I just do that down there mm -hmm. Okay, let's bronze up with my Black Radiance and put a top on this black coffee. using the same products lately y'all cowboy cowgirl about face cream blush no I'm looking here it's no mirror right now I'm like you know it's a mirror in my hand though that I, on the high points I like using this flat brush for my blush because it doesn't pick up a lot of product. And I'm going to set with some of my RCMA No Color all over my face. And kind of just let that sit while I go get dressed and put on lashes and stuff. I'm going to dust it off. I'm going to try to get product out. So I'm right here in the top. Especially these eyebrows. Because they'll be all a mess. Let me put on some of my lip primer. Color pop lip primer. For mascara, the Big Nasur by Long Calm. All right, let's do this lip combo. I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses Lip Gel Liner in Black Coffee. I really got to find my pencil sharpener.
and then take another booby kisses. Tell me I didn't lose it that fast. And Coco Rose to fill it in. That's how it looks on the back of my hand. Oops, sorry. Knocking stuff over. There we go. And kind of go over the liner a little bit. Dust this powder off. And before I forget and walk out the door, all the stuff on my face. Kind of decide if I want to leave it matte or if I wanted to, I think. No, it was red wine. I knew I had another. This is darker, as you can see. That's the color. I knew it. You see the difference? Even though the other one was pretty, but well, this was the one that I swatched. Yes, and the trick that I do when I want a little matte but not so much matte, I just take a clear gloss. Do it like that. <laughs> and I do it like this. <laughs> Blot. Because I don't want it to be as matte perfect. All right, guys, this is the completed stash shopping type look. Just some rusty type eyes, like burnt orange, brown, rusty eyes, and a that looks like on my teeth. And a rusty type lip. <laughs> rusty in a good way, though. Yeah, so just using items out my stash. Uh, I had to leave the soft ochre on my desk because I like the way it laid my eyeshadows. I can this though yeah I know I have to do this every single time make sure this stuff is blended the edges right yep it works out if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video bye guys